Mystery extra solar object, Umwama is hiding secret. And now the Harvard scientists are revealing yet a new theory. This is by Kieran McGrath on Express UK. Umwama, I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly, forgive me. It's a Hawaiian word. The mystery object which became the first object ever spotted in our solar system to have originated from outside it is a spaceship from another world, equipped with a solar sail. This is what a Harvard scientist has concluded. That's the only explanation they can come up with, because it goes against the laws of physics. Avi Loeb, a close, a close friend of the late professor Stephen Hawking and the chairman of the university's astronomy department, made his sensational claim in an interview in the Israeli newspaper Hearts. Umwamwa was first spotted by Robert Work using a telescope at the Haleakala Observatory in Hawaii, October 19, 2017. So it's very new, as we can understand, just over, over a year old. And he named it after a Hawaiian word meaning messenger sent from the distant past to reach out to us. It has been the subject of intense speculation ever since not least because its discover, discovery bears uncanny similarities to Rendezvous with Rama. This is a 1973 science fiction novel by Arthur C. Clarke. Dr. Loeb said, if you average the velocities of all the stars in the region, you get a system that's called the local standard of rest. Umama was at rest relative to that system. It did not come to us. It waited in place like a buoy on the surface of the ocean until the ship, quote unquote, of the solar system ran into it. To make things clear, only one of 500 stars in the system is as much at rest as Umwamwa. The probability of that is very low. After all, if it were a stone that simply hurled from a different solar system, we would expect it to have the velocity of its solar star, its star system. Not the average velocity of all the thousands of stars in the vicinity. Scientists were stunned by new data published last June based on observations by the Hubble Space Telescope, which revealed Umwamwa had actually accelerated during its visit to the inner solar system in 2017. This phenomenon cannot be explained by sun's force of gravity, they said. So this is totally illogical and unregular, against the law of astronomy. Now, the comet would be capable of such acceleration, but there was no sign of any Umama having a comet-like tail, which would be necessary to power such a movement. Additionally, gas emissions would have caused rapid changes to the rate of the object's spin, which likewise were not observed. Dr. Loeb said, the only hypothesis I could think of is a push from solar radiation pressure. But for that to work, the object would have to be very thin, less than a millimeter thick, in other words, a type of a pancake. In addition, the Spitzer Space Telescope found no evidence of heat emission from the object, and that means that it is at least 10 times more reflective than a typical comet or an asteroid. So what we have then is a thin, flat, shiny object, so I arrive at the idea of a solar sail. A solar sail is a spaceship that uses the sun for propulsion. And instead of using fuel, it's propelled ahead by reflecting light. In fact, it's a technology that our civilization is developing at this very time. Indeed, in 2016, Loeb, the physicist at Uri Milner, Professor Hawken, Mark Zuckerberg, and others launched Breakthrough Starshot, an initiative to accelerate solar sails to one-fifth the speed of light in order to explore the nearby solar system at Alpha Centauri, which is four light years away. Dr. Loeb said, quote, the first question we ask is whether a sail like Umama could survive billions of years in the Milky Way, and we discovered that it could. Being hit by interstellar dust or gas won't tear it down, won't wear it down. Afterwards, we tried to calculate the acceleration a solar sail would cause in an object such as a ship or a probe, and we found that the acceleration is consistent with that of Umama. So that's his conclusion. Interesting.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.